We discussed whether it was a cat or a bear. I don't know. I want it to be a bear. Today, we're gonna play around with some Japanese culture. I don't really know if you would consider it Japanese culture, but manhole covers are special here. And I'm sure maybe other countries have cool ones, but Japan, it's right beneath your feet and you always want to check out the one that you're passing to see if it has a cool message or if it has a cool picture or if it talks about the area in specific. Recently there was a manhole cover stamp rally that you could do on your phone. That has ended but we did some digging and we found a map that will help us go around Japan and find cool covers like this one. And Eric's gonna tell you a little story about this one very soon but I'm gonna get out of the danger zone for now. <laughs> so we are starting our adventure in a little area called Akishima, which is sort of near where we live. And to be clear, it's quite a long way from the ocean, but there is a really major river that runs through this area. So you might be wondering, well, what's the deal with the whale? Why is there a whale on a manhole cover? It's a whale of a tail. <laughs> it is a tail of a whale. There was a whale skeleton from like millions of years ago found inside of the riverbed that is near this area from like a fossilized, like in complete, like perfect condition. And I think it was like the first specimen or something. I think it's called like the Akish Akishima whale, like mm. the, the species or whatever of it. So a lot of these manhole covers are tied into some historical thing that is associated with that region. So this area's famous thing is that whale. Some of them are like, there'll be like a manga character or something because maybe that's where the manga took place or maybe like that's author. where the author lived or something like that. So there's things that tie into them. And I think that's really, really cool that you have the opportunity to like learn a little bit about the area based on Just the on manhole, manhole covers. <laughs> and um, before we went and we looked at this one, we went into the tourist office and they gave us this little card. And they're trading cards. Yeah, they're the trading cards. Cover. The manhole covers. Not all of them have got trading cards, but a lot of them do. And this was just free. <laughs> and it's got a picture of the manhole cover. And it also shows the coordinates of one of the manhole covers. These, there's not just one of them in the city that looks like this. There's we quite a few. Three of we them saw three of them this morning so And far. we didn't even go to this one. This one was further away from the train station. And then on the flip side is information about why the manhole cover is what it is or some history. That I, that I was talking about with like the whale being found mm -hmm. or whatever. So <laughs> the whole thing is just really spectacular. I'm kind of excited to go around the rest yeah. of the day and see what else we can find. We're going to be doing a lot of hopping on and off trains though, I think, because mm -hmm. we're going to be going to different areas and we picked out ones that like specifically look cool that we want to see. Yeah, I can see the ones in my head that I hope we get to today. And we marked them on Google Maps, but to get the day started, we have um, come into a little bakery. This is like a little chain bakery that's by the, uh, by the train station. And we got a couple of pieces of, a couple of pieces of bread. Um, this is like a, a bunch of vegetables on bread with it, cheese. It. That is really heavy. Like yeah, it's it surprisingly it's really heavy. And it's really wet on the underside. I got a panini that has some ham and uh, tomatoes. I saw another lady eating it and I thought that is a strong recommendation. <laughs> so I got that. This is very, very pizza-esque. Mm. And mm. I'm covered in grease now. Can you, are you greasy? Can you help me out with the last piece of bread? Oh, okay, we're just going in it. Yeah, it's just gonna be slippery. And I got one other thing. What's your feelings on just what you've seen with this last piece of bread? It looks boring. I repeatedly asked you, seriously, you're getting that? You're getting that? You, that's what you're getting? Are you sure? <laughs> Do you know why I got it? No, because <laughs> you you're the, bored? You didn't see the documentation? No, I didn't. Documentation is what sold me, man. So Katie was just like, this is just boring stuff. So it's not interesting at all or whatever. I don't know, maybe she's right. This is a piece of bread, but it had a bee. There was a bee Ooh, selling wow. it. It's yeah, honey. Exactly, it's honey butter. Mm. Mm. Jealous now? Am I jealous? No, because I know I'm gonna get to eat it. I've never seen you, wow. That's mm. cavernous. This is empty inside. <laughs> but yeah, mm. oh, the honey. Yeah, there was a bee, man. Bees can sell me on anything. Mm. I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a sucker for bee, bee propaganda. <laughs> Don't judge a bread by its cover. <laughs> wow.
We transitioned from Akishima to Shinjuku, and when you come here, you gotta pay the kitty. <laughs> in Shinjuku, one of the coolest things is the Godzilla that's in Kabukicho. And he's like on top of his building, kind of overlooking the area. We've mentioned him in many videos. Many people come beelining for the area so they can see Godzilla when they first come to Japan. We know, because we just met a couple people that were like, yeah, this is our first day here and we're here. <laughs> and the Godzilla is awesome. And he's just like looming over the area. And at nighttime, this place is packed full of people and it's a really exciting nightlife type of area, but a little bit sketchy at the same time. But Godzilla is the image that you think of now when you think of Kabukicho. And they've immortalized him onto the manhole cover here. And this manhole cover is really cool because it's not just like metal with some paint on it. They somehow printed onto this manhole cover a high definition image from a Godzilla, I'm assuming, film. And it's like you can see the detail of the set piece that they used and how it kind of looks like a toy a little bit, but it's just a really, really high definition way to show. I don't know if it's the history of Shinjuku, but I certainly hope it's not the future. There are actually two Godzilla manhole covers and I thought this one was going to be cooler than the other one, but the picture that we saw online looked a little more defined. This Godzilla kind of looks like a blob, so the high definition one ended up being cooler than this black on red one that I've been pretty excited about. A lot of the manhole covers that we have on our map are actually quite far apart distance-wise when you try to actually access them. Like these were not that far apart, these were like 20 feet. But I'm talking about like when we jump to a different area with a different theme of manhole covers. It might be like on the train 20 minutes, an hour, two hours. This region that these are all inside of is quite large. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the next closest one that we have marked on our map, which is in Shibuya, which is, I don't know, maybe like a 20 or 30 minute walk. I don't think I'm underestimating that. But what we're hoping to do is find along the way some manhole covers of interest that we don't have on our map. Because there's still lots of different designs that aren't like the special designed ones. It's pretty wild. You'll see some that are just like the fire department designed one or something like that. And it's not like marked as special, but it is kind of special to just stumble across it and find it. And on the way, I stopped at a vending machine and I got one of these little drinks. And guys, if you come to Japan, you should try these things. They kind of taste like Smarties in a liquid format. And uh, there's something about the little bottle and everything that I just think the whole thing is really <laughs> like satisfying. It's like the only energy drink I can get down on. Okay, so just for an explanation, this is pretty standard. It's so standard, it's also right there. <laughs> Even when it comes to just the plain ones, there's still a design on them. Does it look cool? Not necessarily, but it's nice. It isn't just crap. They've got some ones that are like just super regular that have no design as well. But these are all over the place and they look pretty cool just for being general or normal. You look great. I can't, I look great. <laughs> I better look great. We just stumbled upon a strange looking manhole cover. It's not designer. It's not normal. It looks like the Middle Ages somehow came up through the ground. Is this for Mario? It's like... <laughs> that's where do you think is. Mario's from the Middle Ages? <laughs> no, I don't think he's from the Middle Ages, but like, you see it. You understand. Uh, <laughs> this is not something you see every day, is like a well cover. That's what this is. It's not a manhole cover. This, there's a well down there and some like scary girl or something. <laughs> Do you think that Mario is prehistoric just because no. of Yoshi? Because <laughs> of a dinosaur? No, that would be Jurassic, <laughs> not medieval or prehistoric. <laughs> is Jurassic prehistoric? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Medieval? When did, were there dinosaurs back in the, back in the olden yeah, days? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, they're dragons, weren't there? 
Yeah. I think so. According to all the histories. This one's for Bowser. <laughs> it's bigger and metal. So it's not actually a manhole cover. This is actually a thing that they put cars on and let the cars rotate so that if you have a tight area, you don't have to worry about like backing into an area that you can't see. <laughs> That's what the purpose of this thing is. But it does kind of look like a gigantic manhole cover, which is fun. It's time to blame it on the mindless navigator. I think I'm the navigator today. I Am I the navigator? Should we both be navigating? I don't really know, but my brain had told me the next manhole cover is in Shibuya. So we headed down to Shibuya. It wasn't necessarily near Shibuya Station and we walked well past it. And I am hangry for sure. I told Eric like, we have to beeline for food and then maybe we'll get to that manhole cover. So we are eating pasta now, so I might, and you might survive. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> I just got like a vegetables and tomato sauce, but Eric got something that he doesn't normally get, which surprised me. I guess it doesn't surprise me. That you, you've been trying a lot of things that you don't eat regularly, but yours is really hot. He got a doria, which is like a rice that has a sauce on it, vegetables, then cheese, and then they put it in the oven and it looks really good. I'm quite jealous. I was suckered in by the word inaka and yasai, which means countryside vegetables. And anytime I see that on the menu, I'm like, yes, this is quite expensive. It was like 1,600 yen, which is quite a lot because most of the other things on the menu were more than like 1,000 or 1,200 yen or something like this. But we're gonna have a bunch of vegetables. We're gonna have a bunch of cheese. We're going to have to take some cow pills and there is going to be some rice on the underside. And I wasn't in the mood for the noodle, and that was the other thing that kind of pushed me in this direction. But I'm also trying to kind of eat things that I don't normally have. Um, the cheese, though, is what is going to dictate me needing some medicine, which is what I'm working on doing now. I'm trying to keep narrating so that this doesn't get too boring to watch. So I've got some pills that I take to help me digest lactose. <laughs> and uh, they work really, really well. The good news is that gave it a couple more seconds to cool off because this thing was bubbling when it came out. I'm just going to get into see what the rice texture and stuff is like. That's kind of my concern is I think like a lot of times the rice texture in this type of like baked dish situation can kind of be a little bit squishier than I want out of my rice. But let's hope they did it in a way that pleases me. Oh yeah, I already blew, baby. You need to blow like excessively. <laughs> We're going to have to speed this up. Okay, I think I'm safe now. It's pretty spectacular, actually. I might, this might spin me back into being like into this dish for real. I'm not sure what kind of vegetable we've got. Um, this looks like maybe potato. They're really into potatoes here. Yeah, they are into potatoes. Mm. There's like asparagus and beans and like, mm, tomatoes. Uh, of course there's nasu eggplant. Mm. Okay, I'm excited. I think it might be worth 1600 yen just because it's like done right. It's not like the cheap Saizeria version, which would make me, I'd eat it and be like, I'm never eating that again. And then I'd go another 10 years without having one. So trying it here was probably the right choice. I should also point out that in the hunger mode, we just decided to come into a pasta pizza dungeon. This place did not look normal from the outside <laughs> and Eric said I'm willing to go in and I was done like whatever they serve in there is what I'm eating so a little strange still feels a little strange in here as well but the food is very good to undo the fact that we walked in the wrong direction dramatically we have grabbed a cab <laughs> and the funny part about this is uh, cabs in Japan are pretty expensive and we know that this is the most trafficked area of the city. It's like the most congested. But we didn't think about it until we sat down in the cab and started moving. Yeah. <laughs> and then we weren't moving. So I'm a little worried about what this is going to cost. Makes me wonder. I wish 
that sometimes I could just have another me doing the other track to see which one would actually... You want to race you? Yeah. Yeah, you need a ghost to me that you can leave around yeah. the city. <laughs> the After Eats review on that lunch, we both kind of decided we'd never go back to that restaurant. Um, it was tasty, but there just was something about it that wasn't like I'd go back to that. I think it was a little more expensive than it should have been. And yeah, just wanted to update you. There's a lot of people out there. Apparently that address was perfect because the taxi driver dropped us off right here. <laughs> and wow, we found another very cool designed uh, manhole cover. And now I'm looking like probably the craziest person everybody on this street has seen this day, this week, this month, 2022. Yeah, I feel weird. We should finish this. <laughs> Do you have any idea who this character is? King Bear. <laughs> that's, that's how I labeled it. We were him. like, is it a bear? Is it a cat? Who is this? <laughs> I don't know anything about this guy. I think it's from an oh, anime, yeah, yeah. right? Oh yeah, we did argue, well, not argue, but we discussed whether it was a cat or a bear. I don't know. I want it to be a bear. This is a little embarrassing, but oh, God. I'm pretty sure it's a cat. <laughs> I mean, it's confusing though, because like, this is the face of maybe anything. He's yeah. a little bit chunky though, right? Yeah. But like, and then you were like, well, he likes fish, so he must be, and then that doesn't help because that's a cat or a bear. Yeah, yeah. None of, this, <laughs> none of this provided clarity, but the ears really say cat to me. Oh, that's true. These are mm -hmm. definitely And then his ears. belt also looks very cat-esque. That does not look That looks bear. like the skull of a cat though. Maybe a bear ate a cat mm. and stole his fish. Wow. Somebody in the comments is gonna be like, this is a very popular anime character, you guys are idiots. It is, it definitely is. We're looking for another manhole, and before we find it, we have found a little gift shop that this one is attached to, this manhole. And we think they're gonna have the little card like what we got this morning for the one that was uh, the first one that we found this morning with the whale. And we're hoping that it will have the coordinates. <laughs> and then we can use the coordinates on the card and easily find a manhole instead of just wandering around aimlessly. Bro, it was smelling bad up in there. Yeah, it smelled like kitty litter. Slightly used. Not not overly used, but slightly used. I thought it smelled like a horse paddock, which isn't uh, <laughs> an improvement. <laughs> that was not a good... I started to get used to it. When I, when I left the room, I, I wasn't thinking about it. But when I walked in there, I was like, people are existing in this and they're okay with it? What's, what's happening in there that's making that smell? Matcha? <laughs> no! <laughs> we got another trading card but it comes with a bit of a bummer. So the trading card is given to you in this store here. It's free, lovely, wonderful, but the manhole cover is an hour and a half walk away from here. Why would they do that? We, we could have like just kept riding the train over to the manhole cover and like, you could just, they have like, vegetable stands where they just put stuff outside and they could have made a manhole cover card stand next to the manhole cover it could be an unmanned vegetable manhole cover stand next to the manhole cover come on i ah uh, we're a little disappointed because we want to see them in person but having the trading card is pretty cool and this one comes with a weird story and it was I guess the one that I wanted to see the most because it's such a strange thing to be commemorating through a manhole. But now I realize this is 
the one that's like most attached to the manhole situation when you think about it. This one is to commemorate Japan's first sewage treatment center. Who decided to do that? And why would they put it so far away? <laughs> It's very cool. We use the sewage system every day. We should applaud that it works very, very well. We don't even think about it. So disappointed we won't get to see this one, but still happy that I'm smiling about it because my toilet flushes and I got a cool card. <laughs> I think this is the last one we're gonna aim for that's inside of the 23 wards, but we're gonna go to some more that are kind of on the way home. Oh, that's not true. I got a special one for you soon. Oh, we have a special one, never mind. I guess it's not special, but it's one you didn't know about. I didn't know about it. <laughs> so, this is one of the ones that we're gonna be looking at inside of the 23 wards. <laughs> and as you can see, there's a couple of dudes doing some sumo. And the reason that this one is here is because the sumo arena is right next to us. And it's like the, one of the two, I think, national sumo arenas where like the real sumo competitions are taking place. And in the past, we've gone and we've seen sumo. It's amazing. If you have the chance, you should go and watch. You seeing these big dudes slam against each other is thrilling. But if you don't have the opportunity, you can always come by here and see these two dudes, which is maybe not so thrilling, but it's still all right. We've come to the official last one in the coos. We are gonna travel home and hopefully see a couple that we're kind of excited about and kind of partial to because we've just moved to Dachikawa and the mascot has its own manhole covers and they're really cute. So we wanna check those out. But the last one here is by an artist you probably all know, Hokusai. I don't have any idea why Hokusai is tied in with Sumida. I looked it up and was like, oh, I guess he was born here, but he's not born here. He was born in Katsushika. So why Sumida? Was the painting done from here? I, I'm, I'm a little blank on why this is associated with Sumida, but still another one of the cool printed ones that gives you a high definition look, much like the Godzilla one we saw earlier. And good way to end Tokyo bit of this. We made our way to Kokobunji, which is outside of the Tokyo 23 coups. And immediately we're kind of hit with a non-special, but well-designed, cool-looking, colorful manhole cover that we hadn't seen the entire time we were walking around in Tokyo. All the ones we saw were ones that were charted on the, the map that we had. So we were surprised that we didn't see more in Tokyo and we're starting to wonder if maybe when you step out of Tokyo, these become more prominent and we're kind of wondering why. Katie found a restaurant and I was like, why are we going to this specific restaurant? What and she did said, I say? You said, you said, because it looks fantastic. It looks fantastic. <laughs> and it kind of does look fantastic. What they make here is something called Ankake Chahan. And ankake kind of means like a bunch of stuff on top of a thing, like but not donburi kind of stuff. This is like a wet type of thing on top of things. And chahan just means fried rice. So they have taken kind of like a wet-ish type of mixture of stuff and then put it on top of fried rice. And it uh, is steamy and kind of looks like maybe delicious. I'd label that as delicious. And this place is cool because like they have quite a few things on the menu but they kind of seem like they like this super specialized in this one specific type of dish um, they got two things on the menu but you can put different top uh, three things on the menu yeah. you've got chaha white rice and uh mabadolfu but those are like topped with things wow so mine is a yakiniku donburi so mine has what white rice and then pieces of yakiniku on it and it is steamy and looks like it has been stewed in a sauce that I'm sure is going to be the normal type of Japanese flavored sauce. I like that a lot. Mm. It's going in a direction. Mm. That, is not, that is not a standing still. 
meat. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. <laughs> and they've thrown um, some egg on top of mine. And I gave Katie one of my eggs. And this is like a really good meal as far as I'm concerned for like going out and doing a whole bunch of stuff all day and then like just eating because you burned a lot of calories walking around filling manholes. Like that's what this meal is good for. I mean, I want to see, they gave us one soup for the two of us and no straws to share it. So I was hoping for like two swirly straws, but mm. it's fine. It's really oniony. I wouldn't say it's like amazing or anything. It's wet. It's the most thing I can say about it. Um, I do wonder though about this dish if that much of that is too much. I don't feel like I'm going to be overkilled with flavor on this, like that that overwhelming like kind of wetness and stuff. I feel like with that, I feel like I would want that in a smaller portion with something else. You know what I mean? Like half that with some kilos or something. Mm. That seems like how it would work out best for me. Not that it's bad. It's just that's a lot of that. Yeah. But we've got seasonings on the table, like zucchini and pepper, mm. so you can start to like mix it a little bit, change it to what you want. Mm. Doesn't Maybe. have to stay the same flavor the entire time. Maybe that's why you got soup to have another balance. Mm. Here's some onions. <laughs> oh man, my egg! No. <laughs> I've been excited about this one and it turns out that it's now dark outside and this is the one that is by far the hardest to see in the dark because it's mostly black. But what it's commemorating is a pencil rocket that was not launched but tested horizontally somehow in this city in 1955. And it was the beginning of Japan's space program which is a fairly substantial space program these days with JAXA. So they're like doing some serious stuff. Actually, I recently read that Japan is going to do a space station on its own or it's starting to plan towards doing that, which is a pretty cool move. But regardless, this is where it all started. The pencil rocket that got launched horizontally, which is not exactly up. <laughs> so I don't know if it's on a track. I don't know what this was. I don't know if this meant. But then there are other rockets as well that are commemorated on different manholes that just go down this hill. So like the progression of the rocket development that took place here. And we're hoping that we're gonna be able to slide over. We've got a few minutes. Maybe we're gonna be able to get a card for this one. I'm not sure yet, but we're gonna try. We're running a little late on time, but if we make it before the place closes, we might end up with a card from this. And I, I'm looking forward to having one of those as well. We got the card. <laughs> At the top of the mall, they've got like a little like, how do you say this? It's like um, an exclave of the city hall. And there was a dude like sitting behind the counter sleeping. <laughs> Katie was like, yeah, I don't know her presence. Welcome up, I guess. And she's like, hey, can we get the card? And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And gave him the card. Uh, so we gave her the card, Katie's with her. And it's the same type of little card that we get from the other places, but this one is about rockets. And speaking of rockets, we've got a big boy here and they've got a model of one of the larger, more modern rockets. This is not the little pencil one that went horizontal. This is the big one that actually goes to space. And it just talks about how like, it's kind of celebrated in the city because it was where everything began with uh, the little pencil guy. We've come to the Tachikawa Children's Future Center. I guess is how you translate this. And uh, this is the place where the final manhole cover of the day is going to be found, we hope and we've come into a building and it looked like we weren't gonna be able to get the little card, but then there was a sign, a sign saying, go to the second floor. Man, I don't know if I should show the card. It's so cute. I think I think it should just happen. Yeah. It happened with the, the manhole. manhole. You gotta wait. Okay. You gotta, oh. Did you suck the data off of the yes, card? Yes, I'm you, ready to which, go. Is it this outside, that side, it's or side, uh, this side? Outside the way we came in and then go okay. keep walking down the street. Okay, cool, so we can just head backwards from how we came in. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Anticipate. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, go out that door. Oh, okay. The anticipation's probably killing everybody. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll pay off. <laughs> we didn't expect this manhole cover to be so dirty. <laughs> Could somebody come out here and clean this like you had a stamp rally for it. Make it pristine. <laughs> this is Kururin, and Kururin is the mascot of our new city. And straight adorable on the card look at the card oh my god so cute hold on it gets cuter 
<laughs> We're, I, I'm super proud to now have a mascot that is adorable. Everywhere else that we've lived, there hasn't really been like a cute one to really like grab onto. And next year is going to be the year of the bunny. So I think I'm really gonna enjoy seeing Kururin all the time and in the future. Like this year that's coming up will be good for that, but also I think Kururin's gonna be amazing for all seasons, all years, every time. Is it just me or is this manhole a bunny holding a manhole? Yes. <laughs> this is genius. Amazing. <laughs> like a manhole in a manhole. This is double timed. <laughs> ooh, ooh. And I'd also like to note that if you do find yourself in Tachikawa, there are two more Kururin manhole covers that we won't be showing. So go find them on your own. This one I think is the cutest, but the other ones are fun too. And oh, wait, I know we're gonna- different designs? Yeah, there's oh, two word. more designs. This was my number one, so that's why, well, we also could get the card here. Had, had any other one been close to the card, we would have gone for that one, but we got the cute one, so I didn't argue. <laughs> Damn, son. Check us out five yeah. cards deep. <laughs> you got a whole collection going there. I think I'm gonna keep looking for the cards. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on my map and like if I'm out doing live streaming or something and I see that I'm near one where I can get the cards, I'm gonna pop in and see if I can get those cards. It's I don't know how long they're gonna be running this or not, but I just kinda wanna have the whole I wanna add the whole stack. You're gonna have the whole stack? <laughs> yeah, man. It's weird. Some you of them, a full collection. You some of them didn't shape. have cards. Why does the Godzilla one not have a card? Uh, maybe we should that's, make a card. That's man. just rude. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's really rude, like, hey, you're really into this, and this is like a really cool one that you'd like to have? No. <laughs> no. What was your favorite manhole cover that we found? Hmm. Let me go through these. I think that, I, I honestly think the, the Godzilla one, the high definition printed Godzilla one is the one that I like the best. And I know it's kind of cheesy that they're like a print on there instead of it being like defined on the like carved like into the thing. Like I get that that's like in. kind of modern in a way that kind of takes mm -hmm. away from it or whatever, but I think it looks so cool that it sort of just trumps it. They did it so good that I, I do like that one. I also like the Kururin, Kururin one where the bunny is holding the manhole. It's just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, I enjoyed the Akishima one. Oh, the um, not only for the the uh, design that they chose, because I think it looks really cool, even though all of these now just look a little dirty on the ground, but it's on the ground. Yeah. Um, we went and we talked to the lady in the tourist center, and she seemed like very excited that we were there. And then she got me excited when she told me this was free. <laughs> there were just like lots of excitement bouncing off of each other. And then we went and we found the manhole cover and it was just a nice little start to the day. So mm. that was my favorite one. So uh, this is probably gonna be our last video that will be produced for the year 2022. 2022. But um, we will be filming, depending on when you're watching this video, maybe we're there now, maybe we were there previously, or maybe we'll be there soon. We're gonna be filming some uh, videos that'll be coming up in early 2023. So if you wanna see some of those videos that'll be on their way, check us out here on YouTube with the subscribe button and the liking and the commenting and, the, and all that stuff to make the robots happy. Mm. And if you wanna help us make these videos, then the place to do that is on Patreon where you can get early access or you can get your names in the credits of the videos, which you should see on screen Great. right now. Great, postcard, I need to do the postcards. You, yeah, we need to send mm. the postcards Postcards, tomorrow. postcards are related to something that happened in this video, so. Oh I'll, yeah, that's I'll, this I, one's are yeah 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 they are mm, yeah. Mm, mm. So um, I'm showing him a hint. Yeah, all that all the Patreon stuff is linked down below, and of course we're doing live stream a whole bunch now. That's on Twitch. That's also linked below, and we've got accounts on other things that are less what I'm going to drive You're on. Get but there's other places. Canceled if you talk about other places. Oh yeah yeah no 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 no. You don't get banned for leaking things on Twitter anymore. That got reversed. Oh okay. okay. It's okay. We're that was 20 minutes now? ago. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somebody might be able to figure out what day we're filming this. Twitter's a wild ride. It's a wild ride. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, yeah, so we got places. Everything's linked down below, and we hope everybody has a good new year and everything, and we will see you in 2023 on YouTube, but probably before that on Twitch. That's kind of how that works, so that stuff's in real time. Mm -hmm. Yo, yo, Toshio. <laughs>
So is that? Nah, I can't talk looking up. Ah. Hey girl. Mm. Oh, it goes in your butt. <laughs> that looks like a. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> see what it says? Yeah, I see that it says anus jail. <laughs> but nothing's going inside of the jail. That's where you put the hamster. Oh. It's just like really, really detailed, I guess, is the best, you know, best way to say it. I lost my words, fuck. Fuck. I got distracted by my own brain and I lost it. I'll start over.